Hey there, guys. Well, you know, the real question today is whether four at the back is better or three at the back. Now, usually when we're talking about a four at the back system, we're talking about having two center backs and then two full backs on the side. Three in the back tends to be three players who are center backs. And then for the wings, usually, as we'll see, you have players playing in the wing back position. Uh, we're going to take a look here at the various tactics that are out there and try to get an idea from that basically what is popular and see if we can figure out which one kind of is winning in the meta today. So we'll go over here first to the Sports Interactive Community Forums, go to the Forum, forum Index, scroll down here. This is going to be under Football Manager Game Help Forums, Tactics, Training, and Strategies Discussion, and then this Tactics Sharing Center. This is where we find the infamous CNAP database of tactics. Now, if you've never used this before, this is a pretty good opportunity for you to learn how. Click over here on the Google Sheets list. This will show you where everything is. It defaults right now to Match Engine 24.0. We actually want to go over here to uh, 24.2, FM 24.3, Match Engine 24.2. Now, we want to organize this by score, which means we select this up here. We go to, uh, well, we should be able to go. There we go, Short, Sort Sheet by... Um, Z to N, sorry. There we are. And we'll take a look at this. Now, we can just look at these formations and know what type of formation it is. So if we're talking about four at the back, we'll go ahead and click over into this, and you can see, here you go, there's your four at the back system. One, two, three, four. If it starts with a four, it's going to be four at the back most of the time. We'll scroll down here a little bit, and you can see that the majority of the knap tactics that do well are four at the back. Now, this is interesting here. This is the Argus Pep. There are a couple of these Argus ones that uh, do quite well, somewhat well. How this score is determined, I'm still not 100% sure, but uh, we'll worry about that a little bit later. Let's look quickly at this Argus Pep, and this is a little bit unusual for a three at the back system because instead of wingbacks, you have uh, wingers playing on the side as supporting players with no real defensive roles. And so you look at this and say, so who's going to play in the back? Well, you got one, two, three, four. Hope your defenders are good. That's about it. And so there is an idea of what things are like when we go down here and we look at other tactics. This is another Argus Pep one. This is going to be basically the same setup. One, two, three, and then the two that are high. We have one right here, Argus three, four, two, one. That's going to look a little bit more like what we expected. One, two, three, and then these two wingers on, or wingbacks on attack on the side. So that does it there for the knap tactics. Now let's go ahead and take a look at a couple of other things. We're going to look here into the FM Arena uh, side. The way to find tactics here is easy. You go over to Tables. You can go over to Form and Tactics too, but Tables is what we're going to look at here today. We want to just look at this, the best plug and play tactics, because that's what most people are going to look at. One, two, three, four, five, six in this Hall of Fame, and you'll notice that one, two, three, four, five of them have four in the back, one has three in the back. Look at one of these four in the back tactics, and uh, there you have it. One, two, three, four in the back, two ball playing defenders, and then full backs on attack on the side. So there is that. We will go take a look here now at this uh, three at the back system. And again, we have three ball playing defenders, see, with uh, one, two wing backs up uh, playing and attacking rules, and those two segundo volantes, which is something I've always liked. And so there you have it for the uh, FM Arena tactic system. What we can see again is that usually if you have three at the back, you have three defenders playing on defensive rules, and people like to have the wing backs attacking so that you can get those overlaps or underlaps going on the side. Now we'll go ahead and look at another website, see if the same thing holds true here. This is FM Base. So here's an example on FM Base of a uh, four at the back tactic that uh, we tend to see a lot of. There you are with one, two, three, four, and see these are two players playing cover rules. It's basically defensive. We go back here, we see there's not a whole lot of three at the back systems. There are a couple of them. We'll look here at this um, extreme volt system. And this one again has three at the back playing in defensive roles and the wing backs are playing in an attacking role. Interesting, we notice that again. And uh, we'll look at this one right here, the uh, three, four, three, re positive system. Where again, we see three at the back. Um, this is uh, CWB, um, which is uh, playing uh, in attacking roles. 
Uh, apologies, I forget exactly what it is that the C stands for. It's been a while since I've uh, screwed around with this. But once again, we see three at the back and then those two players playing up at the side. Basically, if you have full backs, it's pretty easy to understand what's going on. When you got the two at the, at the middle and two at the side, these are defensive players and these are usually attacking or at least supporting players um, who can give you overlaps or underlaps to confuse the um, AI defense. Now we'll look in one more place. We're going to look here at Sorted Out SI. I've talked about them before. This is one of the best websites for football manager or anything. We'll just look here at the FM24 Tactics. I'm not sure how these are how these are arranged, how these are designed. Like, you go look here at the amazing 4231, and it looks just like a lot of the other tactics that we've had. I mean, this is going to look amazing, right, because you have the lines and stuff, but usually if you're playing, you know, the uh, Youth Academy Challenge and you have a whole bunch of players who are inconsistent, you're not going to see these lines everywhere. So don't worry about that. Before we get to three of the back, we have to scroll down. So here is this FMCT2341, but it's improperly labeled. It should be a 433, three. one, two, three, four, and three, and then three. So we won't worry too much about that. Go down a little bit further. And eventually, we will find our three at the back system. And it takes a while because three at the back is not necessarily all that popular. But um, here you go for Zaccaroni, three at the back. And this includes two wide center backs um, playing in supporting roles, which is a little bit rare. Again, the wing backs are attacking. And then there is a defender here. I don't know how this system doesn't give up a ton of goals. We'll look at one more from here. This is the new meta 352 FM 24 tactics. And this looks a lot like what we've seen before with uh, one, two, three at the back of the two wing backs. And so there you have it. If we're going to take anything out of this, I would say that I'm not certain that four at the back systems are superior to three at the back, but they certainly are more plentiful. If you're going to use three at the back, you want to seriously consider having three defensive players in the back. And then for your wing backs, think about having attacking players playing a little bit further forward. If you're going to use a four at the back system, you also want to think about having your fullbacks attack um, and uh, play in some sort of offensive role, again, to take advantage of the uh, overlaps and uh, the uh, underlaps that tend to work so well in Football Manager, even in FM24, and which will probably work in FM25. I would recommend trying with three at the back. I've done it before. I actually liked it a lot. But um, you have to make sure you have really good defenders. It's especially helpful if they have good speed because they need to get back really quickly. There you have it. I'd love to know what you think about all this. I'll talk with you later. Bye-bye.